I am by no means an expert at maintenance. I'm not a mechanic, never have been a mechanic, but I've been doing car reviews for over a decade. So I've reached out to the experts to talk about the five car brands that are cheapest to maintain. And here they are. According to the Green Mechanic, the Toyota brand is without a doubt the cheapest car brand to maintain and repair. This Japanese car is built to last. And in case there's a need for repair or parts replacement, the availability of its parts won't be a problem because it is widely available and relatively cheap compared to other car brands. In fact, the engineering and production methods used by Toyota place a premium on simplicity and repair friendliness, which enables Toyota's technicians to do their job more effectively while also reducing the company's overall labor expenses. So yes, Toyota, good choice. So in addition to the Green Mechanic and CarEdge.com, Toyota is the cheapest brand to own with a 10-year maintenance cost of just six grand, nearly $2,000 less than the next most affordable brand. But at $8,000, Nissan makes it in the top five, which you're looking at now. Nissan is second to none in terms of the cheapest brands to maintain and repair, aside from Toyota. This brand has widely distributed parts worldwide, so finding replacement parts won't be a problem if you need to repair your Nissan. You knew a Honda would pop up on this list. According to Car Edge, Honda is the number three least expensive brand of cars to maintain with an average 10-year maintenance cost of just $7,800. The 10-year maintenance of a Mazda, just over $8,000, making it number four on cheapest brands to maintain. On average, Mazda drivers won't spend $1,000 annually to keep their cars on the road after they've owned them for seven years. There's just an 18% chance that a Mazda will require a major repair in the first 10 years of ownership. Major repair is defined as anything over $500, which is well below the industry average of 18%. And several experts sang the praises of Mitsubishi as an inexpensive brand to maintain and own over the long haul, but none recommended it anywhere near as enthusiastic as Toyota, but still it made the list. In terms of its 10-year maintenance cost, only Toyota ranks higher. The average Mitsubishi cost just $7,700 to keep running over a decade. Well, that's nearly $2,000 more than Toyota. Mitsubishi joins Honda as the only other three nameplates with a 10-year maintenance cost under $8,000. So now might be a good time to do some shopping for a Toyota, Honda, Mitsubishi, Mazda, or Nissan in your area. Check out quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video. It's a free search engine, quotes.everymandriver.com. Insider access to dealer pricing, the lowest prices being offered by qualified dealerships in your zip code. Select the make, model, and zip code for the vehicle that you're looking for. If you don't find it in your zip code, expand that zip code. Be willing to take a little small road trip. Travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on your next new or used vehicle by visiting quotes everymandriver.com. Happy shopping. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but not all cars are created equal. Surprise, surprise. Even in 2024, some fall below expectations. Reliability, money, value, performance. I've got some here that are the least reliable new cars of this year, 2024. Some to stay away from buying altogether. Let's get started. With a reliability score of just 27 out of 100, the Jeep Wrangler may not be the rugged icon it often is portrayed to be. While yes, its off-road capabilities are undeniable, numerous owners have reported issues ranging from electrical to transmission. Despite its popularity among enthusiasts, the Wrangler's below average reliability score suggests that it may not be the most dependable choice in 2024 for everyday driving needs. So please be careful when considering these reliability concerns before committing to such a big purchase, especially if you plan on using this just as a daily driver rather than your off-road adventures. The Grand Cherokee, not much better, 26 out of 100 falling short in terms of long-term dependability. While yes, it's praised for its spacious interior and capable performance, this SUV has been plagued by various mechanical issues, including engine problems, electrical malfunctions, and despite its strong presence in the SUV market, potential buyers should proceed with caution and thoroughly research the Grand Cherokee's reliability track record to avoid potential headaches down the road. The Volkswagen Jetta, with a reliability score of just 25 out of 100, 
may not live up to your expectations or its reputation for solid engineering. Despite its stylish design and comfortable ride, the Jetta has been criticized for its frequent visits to the repair shop. The mechanics love to see these vehicles, not really. Owners have reported issues with transmission, electrical systems, engine reliability, casting doubt on its long-term durability. So be careful when weighing the Jetta's pros and cons before you buy one. With a score of 23 out of 100, the Nissan Frontier definitely falls short of expectations in terms of long-term dependability. Despite its rugged exterior and capable performance, this midsize has been plagued by transmission issues, engine problems, premature wear and tear. While the Frontier may appeal to budget-conscious buyers like yourself seeking a no-frills truck, its below-average reliability score suggests that it may not be the best choice for long-term ownership. How about the Grand Cherokee L? Uh-oh, 23 out of 100. Very similar to its counterpart, the smaller version. This faces similar concerns as well regarding long-term dependability. It does have a spacious interior, impressive towing capacity. It's a three-row SUV, but it's been plagued by various mechanical issues, including transmission problems and electrical faults. The Rivian R1T, its reliability score 22 out of 100. This may not offer the worry-free ownership experience that you were hoping for in an electric vehicle. Despite its groundbreaking design and impressive off-road capabilities, this all-electric pickup has faced some criticism already for its early production models in terms of quality control issues, from software glitches to charging infrastructure concerns. If you are looking, exercise caution and closely watch the progress in addressing these teething problems before making a purchase decision. Despite its reputation for safety and reliability, the Volvo XC60 receives a disappointing reliability score of 21, worse than the Rivian. While praised for its upscale interior and advanced safety features, this luxury SUV has been plagued by various mechanical issues, including engine problems and electrical malfunctions. So if you're considering an XC60, carefully weigh the positives and negatives in terms of reliability in the long run for this luxury SUV. For those loyal to the Blue Oval, the F-150 Hybrid got a 19 out of 100. This probably won't live up to your expectations, nor the America's best-selling pickup truck reputation. Despite its innovative hybrid powertrain and impressive towing capacity, this truck has been plagued by various mechanical issues, transmission, and electrical faults. Potential buyers should carefully consider their needs when looking at an F-150 hybrid, especially if your reliability is your top concern. Volkswagen Taos, 18 out of 100. This should be a red flag for long-term ownership. Despite its compact size and affordable price point, this subcompact SUV has been criticized for its lackluster reliability track record. Owners have reported issues ranging from transmission problems to electrical malfunctions casting doubt on its long-term dependability. I liked it when I reviewed it. The Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, but reliability got a 14 out of 100. Not the most dependable choices for families seeking a fuel-efficient minivan. Despite its innovative plug-in hybrid powertrain and spacious interior, this minivan has been plagued by various mechanical issues, including transmission problems and electrical faults. My advice, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video, quotes.everymandriver.com. Insider access to dealer pricing on some of the competitors of the vehicles you just saw. Make model zip code. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code for that particular make and model, expand the zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to get a better deal on a new or used vehicle in your area. That's quotes. Dot everymandriver.com. Today's video is brought to you by the Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up.